When I first came on a visit to your lime-washed house, a clean knee child from town, your two great fists impressed me. For they were ponderous chunks of granite, notched carelessly for fingers and which, at your own willed creation, you had torn from the heart of the land. Yes, I knew then how you had risen and separate must have kept on walking. I was almost frightened to be your friend, but still I'm running so breathlessly beside you. As you stride onwards, the castle of yourself across rough fields of thistle and clover. And the dogs are running before us, and our laughter creates a flawless sky. Right, the next one. Oh. Um, the next poem I'm going to read, I'm going to read it because uh, one of the things I did to pass a bit of time today was uh, I, my wife and I wandered around uh, the cemetery at Père Lachaise and um, I, I found uh, the quite small grave of Marcel Proust, a man who wrote a very long novel. And, uh, <laughs> and you will soon discover from this poem that I haven't read that far into it, in English or French. Uh, anyway, this is a poem that kind of bridges um, Mayo in the west of Ireland and uh, the north of France where uh, Bruce came from. So this is called uh, in, Lost, in Search of Lost Time. From the north of France to Mayo is a stretch. But in the way that often one thing leads to another, I got there reading Proust. Or, if I'm honest, by failing again to read him. <laughs> Beyond his hero's bedtime. Buttoned up, fretful, a delicate child. He had never dammed a stream with sods or pulled up a ladder into the hay where he had his lair and listened to rain clattering down onto a hay shed roof. Accumulating his endless pages, an invalid and a scribbler cooped up in his cork-lined room. It wasn't the smell of bread baked in a pot in the embers that took Proust back to his earliest years but a madeleine soaking in a cup of weak tea. Free falling into the past, he never mentions creamery butter. Eggs with shells streaked in dirt, or the sizzle and spit of sausages seasoned in smoke. Lights out plunged him into creeks and shadows. And on the night he missed his mother's kiss, an agony of sleeplessness. Voices climbed the stairwell. In a three-room cottage I awakened when the crack was mighty. I hope that last line makes some kind of sense in Paris. You know, the crack, the crack was mighty. <laughs> right. 